All right, guys, so today I have here my Barbie Razor scooter that I modified to go uh, 30 miles per hour. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the components I put into it, how much money I spent, and we're gonna take it for a spin so I can show you what it does. But right now, I'm gonna go through the build and show everything I've done to it. So let's get to it. Starting off with this build, we have the throttle with the key switch. And under the seat, we do have the storage compartment. And under this is where all the power is. Here we have the three 18 volt batteries. We just took out the batteries and this thing is powered with three Makita 18 volt 6.5 amp batteries, which connect to these little adapters that I wired up to the controller. And we're gonna flip this thing over. Under the scooter, we have the controller, which is mounted to the frame with these zip ties on each side. And we have all the wires connecting the motor, battery, throttle, and everything else right here. We have the motor connected with these four motor mounts, which aren't hard to put in. All you have to do is drill some holes. And this is a 48 volt Vevor motor kit which has 2000 watts and 48 volts, which is enough for me to go around the neighborhood, have some fun and rip around. So now that I've gone through the entire build, I will be going through all of the components and I'll show you how much everything cost me. The list of everything that I used in this build includes the 48 volt motor kit, four 18 volt batteries, four battery adapters, the 15 tooth motor sprocket, which allows it to get to 30 miles per hour, a charger for the batteries, and you'll need nuts, bolts, electrical tape, and zip ties to put everything together. But other than that, the build is very simple. So the total cost of all those components would end up being 278 plus any other things you might need for your build. All right, guys, it's time to ride. We got the scooter ready, got the camera mounted, but unfortunately, I do have a chest mount and just my iPhone, so it is gonna be a little shaky, but we're still gonna take this thing for a spin. Let's go. So the scooter used to go uh, 25 miles per hour until I changed the motor sprocket to a 15 tooth from 11 tooth, which now lets it go 30 miles per hour. Now, unfortunately, one bad thing about the scooter is that the batteries only last me about 18 to 20 minutes, which is basically nothing. But I did order a different set of batteries to put in this thing in case I need them. Instead of buying three drill batteries like I did, I'd instead go for buying a big lithium ion battery that can make this thing last for maybe 40 minutes or however long it'll last. Now, other than the battery not lasting too long or not going too fast, it's a very fun toy. Doesn't cost that much to make. And you can just rip around wherever. Something funny that I've noticed riding this thing is that it does grab a lot of attention. It being a, a purple Barbie scooter, but I'd probably recommend building something like this on a Razor dirt bike to have some suspension, disc brakes, and it'll just look cooler. I've tested this thing on multiple speed apps and it always reads 30 miles per hour or a little more, depending if I'm going downhill. But on flats, it does go 30 miles per hour, which is pretty good for being a little kid's purple scooter.
The other bad thing that I forgot to mention on this scooter is the brakes. It only has back brakes and they are not good at all. If you hold them for too long, they warm up and they stop working for a little bit. So it's pretty unsafe. But luckily, nothing's happened with me related to the brakes. Oh, this thing is a ripper! Well guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I appreciate you if you stuck around to the end. If you have any questions on this build and wanna see more episodes, riding around the city, anything, comment down below. But that's it for this Barbie scooter.